Ever since I was a kid, my dream was to become a professional footballer. But since I had no talent, my dream was crushed. But today, I've got the chance to relive my dream by playing my own career in FC24. The goal is to somehow become the world's best player. But here's the catch. I'm literally the worst player in the game. That's right. When I said I've got no talent, I meant it. My pace, shooting, passing, everything's just horrendous. And I'm playing for one of the worst teams in the game, Mumbai City FC, in the Indian Super League. I don't know how we're gonna go from here to potentially a European club and then becoming the world's best. It's gonna be a real journey. The only good thing is we've got time on our side. I'm only 18 years old in game. In real life, of course, I'm 23. But yeah, we've got 15 years to try and get myself to a 99 overall. Not just that, we've got six more difficult challenges, like winning three Champions Leagues, three Ballon d'Ors, winning every top five league, five golden boots, and even scoring 300 goals. Honestly, at this point, I'd be happy if we just get a contract from a European club. But the seventh and most difficult challenge is the crazy one, and that's winning the World Cup. You guys know I'm from India, so how on earth am I going to win the World Cup with them? Maybe I'll need to go to a European country, get their citizenship, and play for them. That seems like the only way I'll win a World Cup. But okay, guys, I think the World Cup is going to be like an afterthought. First, we need to figure out what we're going to do to get that overall increase. And the only way we can do that, I think, is by putting a development plan. And I'm thinking for this season, we should do complete striker so we can get that finishing up as well as the weak foot. I think the goal has to be to just perform well at Mumbai City FC, maybe get some interest from European clubs. That's the only way we're going to progress my career. Oh, but the thing is, I'm literally the worst player in the game. We've got so many better players at the club already just for the striker spot. I don't know if I'm going to get any sort of game time. Well, we're getting through my first ever professional season. And while we wait, I just want to thank you all for helping me reach 1 million subscribers. I know I said my dream was to become a footballer, but of course that fell through. But then my next dream was to become a YouTuber and you guys made that dream possible. Hitting a million subscribers just, just means so much. Literally took me eight years to get to a million subscribers and what a journey it's been. We've built such an amazing community and I'm just so grateful for you guys, man, honestly. So yeah, again, a big, big thank you. But onwards and upwards, the goal now is to try and get to two million because why not? So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And by the way, if I can get to a million subscribers in eight years, come on, in 15 seasons, I can get myself to a 99 overall in FC 24 too. End of my first year as a professional footballer and yep, we've gone up by five ratings. I don't think we're the worst player in the game anymore, but we only played three games and zero goals. Bro, this is actually embarrassing. It genuinely feels like I'm not good enough for even the Indian Super League. We're now kicking off season two and I think I've got a decision to make. Do I transfer list myself? But the thing is, like, which club is gonna buy me? And if I can't hack it at Mumbai City FC in one of the worst leagues in the game, what am I gonna do in any other league? I think we need to stick it out here, try and get a starting spot, score some goals and get my overall up to at least a 60 or somewhere close before even considering leaving. But yeah, to get that overall up to a 60, we, we gotta put some development plans. And I'm thinking, let's go with Poacher. We need to get that finishing as high up as possible. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed, development plans are working. We've now got a five-star weak foot. We're making our way through season two, and hopefully this time I can get my first ever goal. Okay, so I did score my first ever professional goal, but in total, we had just two goals for the season? Bro, our CDM scored more than me. The only good thing that happened was that our stats grew fairly well. We're up to a 57 overall. But look at that. The team only finished seventh in the league. It's, it's not going well in the Indian Super League. Maybe we should just take the risk and try and get a transfer to a European club. Even if it's like Division 4 or something, it might just be better. Okay, so for Season 3, I'm 20 years old, 58 rated. Oh, and I've got a market value of 725,000. Surely, there are going to be a few clubs interested in me. Wow, we're getting offers literally from the same league. No, we're not making a sideways transfer. Oh, this might be perfect. This is what I've been waiting for. Tranmere Rovers, they've put in a bid of 1 million. And yes, indeed, they're in EFL League 2. I told you, even if it's Division 4 moving to England, I think it's going to be the best thing for my career. I think we're doing this, boys. We're absolutely doing this. There you go, guys. We're taking the flight all the way to England to play for Tranmere Rovers. Oh, even at Tranmere Rovers, there's going to be a bit of competition for starting spots. But now that I'm 58 rated, I feel a lot more confident. I think we're going to start the season on the bench, but we should be able to break into the first team. That's got to be the goal. Time to see if I'll be able to cope with English football. Wait a minute. My first season in England and I've cooked. Top scorer.
scored of a Tranmere Rovers 20 goals. I genuinely can't believe this. Even though the team only finished 13, I think staying at Tranmere Rovers and just becoming a better footballer has got to be the play. Look at this. We also came so close to winning the golden boot, man. That would have actually counted for a challenge. But yeah, this season, we added quite a bit to our goal tally. We're now making our way through another season here at Tranmere, and I'm hoping this time we could win the golden boot. Okay, this season, I could only score 16 goals. Wasn't anywhere close to winning the golden boot. But the crazy thing is, we've gone up to a 70 overall. Yo, the progress we've made in four seasons as a player, it's crazy. Look at that. My pace is in the 70s now, shooting as well, dribbling's getting better. Oh, and also, five-star skills and a five-star weak foot stat. One thing's for sure, I think we've outgrown Tranmere Rovers. I'll always be grateful for them. They came in and gave us an offer when things weren't going well for us in India with Mumbai City FC. But thank you for the memories. It's time to move forward. But now we're in season five. I'm putting myself on the transfer list. Oh, my market value has gone up to 5.5 million. Surely some fairly big clubs are going to be putting in offers. Oh, and we've got the first one from Luton down. Yo, what division are they? Are they in the Premier League? Okay, no, they have gotten relegated down to the championship, but that's okay. That's a big step up. We're going to move up from the fourth division of English football all the way to the second. I think we take this offer. In five years, we've gone from the Indian Super League to now playing for Luton Town. Not bad at all. Also, it feels like I'm working towards my English passport. I think if you stay five years in England, they're okay to give you a passport. Maybe we need to stay another couple of years so we can become English and play for England at the World Cup. To be fair, now that I think about it, maybe I should have just gone to Brazil, secured the Brazilian passport. That would have been way better because even if we get the English passport, there's no guarantee we're going to win the World Cup because you guys know about England and bottling. But yo, the good thing is we're joining Luton down as a starter. Time to see what I can do in my first season in the championship. Okay, not bad. First season at this high level of football and we still scored 13 goals. I'll take it. But most importantly, the growth has been really rock solid up to a 76 overall. We're soon getting to a point where we might be playing for the big clubs. Ah, uh, but one thing we failed at is not really helping our clubs achieve something. Like, we even failed to get promoted with Luton Town. But you know what? I think we need to stay here at Luton Town, continue growing, and maybe try and get them promoted. Okay, maybe I should have just bounced. Because there's no way we're helping Luton Town get promoted. It's only gotten worse. But you know what? We've got some solid growth out of this season, too. We're up to an 81 overall. Six seasons from 46, I think, to 81. That's just surreal growth. Oh, and individually, we keep performing 25 goals. Oh, but zero assists. I think they're going to be putting the selfish allegations on me very, very soon. But wait a minute, guys. I've just won my first ever golden boot. And finally, we're making some progress towards the challenges. One out of the five golden boots we need. We've also got 76 goals out of the 300. Next season, though, we got to get out of Luton Down. I think we finally got the rating to play for maybe a top five league club. And yup, we need to start making those kind of moves because I'm already 24, soon entering my prime. Okay, guys, I just googled how long it's going to take to get a British passport. And apparently it says if you're five years in England, you can get it. The thing is, we've only been for four years here. A couple at Tranmere Rovers, a couple now at Luton Town. And yes, we've decided to put ourselves on the transfer market. But I think we're going to keep our next club in England so we can get that passport. Can't believe we're doing this. But there's a reason, boys. I'm pretty sure this is a World Cup here. Yes, indeed. 2030 next year. Chance to play at my first World World Cup. I don't know with an 81 rating whether I'll get picked or not, but we gotta try and hence, we're gonna look to join an English club. It's kinda gonna depend on the offers we get. First one, Fenerbahce. Although going to Turkey sounds fun, but not now. Ooh, an offer from Netherlands, but Feyenoord is not it. I'd rather stay in the championship. Yo, why are we getting offers from the Saudi League? It's too early. At 24, I'm not going there. What am I seeing? This might be the craziest offer. It's from Al Hilal, and they're offering Neymar Jr. in a swap deal. No, no, we're not going to Saudi, but that's crazy. Finally, we get an offer from Wolves. It does sound interesting. Oh, but wait, there's also an offer from Brighton. Yo, I gotta choose Brighton, man. I've got to. They've just got a better coach, a better system. Yup, I quite like the idea of joining Brighton. And I've done it. I've actually worked my way up to a Premier League club. I'm gonna be playing for Brighton. And I think we made the right decision because this Brighton team is actually crazy good. Yo, we've got a great midfield, a decent backline, and with the highest rated striker at the club. I'm thinking, what development plan should I put? I'm looking at my stats and they look so much better. The pace, the shooting, the dribbling. But I think we should put the complete striker on so we can get that composure up too. Time to see how we fare 
here in the world's biggest league, the Premier League. End of this season and looks like the growth slowed down a bit. We're only up to an 84, but that's expected. We're not playing in the Premier League. But the goals did not slow down. 21 this season, including 20 in the Premier League. Did we help Brighton qualify for champions? Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. But still, 8th in the Premier League. We'll take that. Did Brighton win any meaningful trophy or something? Because we're yet to win any sort of silverware. Maybe the Europa League, Conference League. Okay, no. But would you believe this? We just won the Golden Boot in the Premier League. 20 golds. Oh, wait, it also says Nkunku won the golden boot. Oh, it was tied between me and Nkunku. But that should count for our challenge. Also, one more thing if you haven't noticed. We've changed nationalities. We've secured the British passport. That hopefully means we're going for the 2030 World Cup. And yes, Sedinho has been picked for international duty just in time. Okay, so this is great. England have topped their group. Ooh, just on penalties got through against Denmark. But no, Scotland has. How have Scotland knocked out England in the World Cup? Maybe we should have tried for that Brazilian passport. To be fair, we needed to be Italian to secure that World Cup. Ah. But let's see if we had decent stats in my first World Cup. And yo, three goals and one assist. I mean, for now, I'll take that. And at the next World Cup, we'll give it another shot. And by the way, we've hit a major milestone with that. 100 career goals. Just 200 more is needed. And we're now in season eight, 85 overall. And I know we've only been here at Brighton for a year, but I think... I think I'm good enough to get a big move to one of the big clubs, like either a big Premier League club, big La Liga club. Because remember, one of our challenges is to start winning the top five leagues, and that'll only happen if we start moving to the big clubs. And the fact that I don't think I've won any trophies yet. We gotta fix that, so after a season at Brighton, that's enough and we're moving out. All kind of depends on the offers we get. Okay, we do have our first offer from Newcastle United, but I don't know, I'm not feeling this. I don't think joining Newcastle is gonna make me like world class, it's gonna get me trophies or anything. Let's wait for a better offer. Oh, Inter from the Serie A. I quite like this. An opportunity to win Serie A. Yeah, let's take this, man. Great strikers have played at Inter and I'm gonna be the next one. Next stop for me is Italy. Oh, wow. We made the right choice. This is the best team we've been in. Five at the back is a bit meh, but still, like, I've got quality players around me. Lautaro is a World Cup winner. Zed, Emery from PSG is now playing at Inter. Militao Bastoni at the back. Wait a minute. Surely Inter are gonna be in the chat. Champions League. And yes, guys, I'm finally gonna get to make my Champions League debut. We've made it to the end of the season and I'm confident this could be the season I win my first big trophy. What? On equal points, we lost the league? How? Goal difference of two, that was the difference. I can't believe this. At least I had an incredible season. 89 overall, going up by four. We're getting towards Ballon d'Or territory. But the thing is, for the Ballon d'Or, you've got to win trophies. I don't think I've won a single good trophy yet. Maybe I don't think I've won a single trophy, period. But we had our best year in terms of stats, 26 goals. Ah, but we couldn't win the golden boot. It's a bit hard, man, in the Serie A with Osimhen in the league. League. The only thing that can save our season now is the Champions League. And well, we topped the group to start with. We're out of 16 and we're already having to rely on penalties. We just about sneaked through. Quarterfinals, we knocked out Barca. Okay, hold up. Semi-finals on pens do the luckiest run ever. And here we are in a final against Dortmund. Yo, are we about to win the Champions League before winning any sort of league title? That would be just crazy. I mean, we've got the team to win the Champions League. I'm 89 rated to Surely we can do this. And yes! I scored the winner. Let's go. I cannot believe this, guys. I've scored the winner in a Champions League final. Yo, why is Bastoni standing with that Champions League? It should be me. But anyways, guys, a crazy season scoring 27 goals in total now. Look at the challenges. We've now added our first Champions League to it. And I think we definitely need to stay at Inter because things are going really well here. The question, though, is am I going to get a Ballon d'Or nomination? And yup, I'm nominated. Along with Holland, Oshiman, and Fo. In, though. I don't think my rating's gonna be good enough, though, even though we won the Champions League. Yep, the winner's been announced and there's not even a cutscene. I don't know why, but Erling Holland has won it. We just need to keep getting that rating higher, because only then we'll start winning the Ballon d'Or. End of the season and Inter this time have won the Serie A convincingly. And I've got my first league title that way. Oh, and not just that, with 33 goals our Serie A top scorer do. Yo, we were top scorer with 33 goals. How many did we score in total? 
No way. We've just had a 40 gold season. Like, come on. That is just ridiculous. And nah, Indo have reached another Champions League final against Athletic Bilbao. Fair enough. But let's do this, boys. Champions League number two in the bag. We need this. And there you go. A brace from myself, Cidinho. We did it. And this time, it's me along with that Champions League trophy. So much progress this season with the challenges, boys. We've got three golden boots, 169 golds, got our first league title, second Champions League. It actually makes perfect sense to just stay at Inter, but one of the challenges we've got is to win different top five leagues. We've won Serie A. There's a lot more countries to conquer. I'm kind of going to have to become the next Latan. Not going to lie, it feels rough that we're going to be leaving Inter because look at that. We were winning awards there left, right, and center, but I've got to channel my inner Slatan boys. We're putting myself on the transfer list. We're getting offers from the same league, Roma. That's that's kind of pointless. I wouldn't mind a big La Liga club, to be fair. We're, we're getting Milan. I, I don't want to play in the Serie A any longer. RB Leipzig? But come on. Are they going to be good enough to win the Bundesliga? I don't think so. We're not risking it. We don't have too many seasons left. Oh, we get a first offer from a Premier League club, but it's Spurs. Huh, can we get like an offer from Man City, Liverpool, or something like that? Oh, finally we get an offer from Barcelona. At the start, when I said my dream was to become a footballer, playing for Barcelona was definitely up there. And now I've got the chance to do it. I know it's an FC 24, but still. I think I gotta take it, boys. Going to Barca, trying and winning La Liga with them. This is it. No way, man. I'm actually fulfilling my dream of playing for Barcelona. Now it's an FC 24, but it still is a cool moment. And okay, we're playing in a pretty good Barcelona team. Need to definitely try and win La Liga. That's one of our challenges. But also, this season, I'm 94 rated. And because we won the Champions League last season, maybe it's Ballon d'Or time. Yo, I think we've won it. Yes, yes, we've won our first Ballon d'Or. Let's go. I'm a Ballon d'Or winner, guys. Look at me all suited up. Going to take that award. Things you do love to see. And it's Luis Figo giving me that award. Let's go, boys. My first Ballon d'Or. First of hopefully many. We've won one. We need to now aim for three. This is the one problem of joining Barcelona. They're absolute frauds in the Champions League. Yeah. Out in the semifinals. And wait, what? Only fourth in La Liga? No. I got emotional and chose Barcelona. I should have been a realist and tried to wait for a Madrid offer. But at least we had a decent season in terms of goals. 26. But my overall didn't move at all. Is my potential getting maxed out here? We still need to get five more ratings to get to a 99. Oh, we didn't even win top scorer. I'm looking at our challenges right now, boys, and it looks really bad because of joining Barca. But you know what? One more season at Barca because I want to try and win the league with them. Look at this, boys. I joined Barcelona and Vinicius is out here winning Ballon d'Ors. Yo, Barca are literally ruining my career. Fifth in La Liga, booted out of the Champions League by my former club Inter as well. Oh, that explains it. We've got a 77 rated outfield player playing in goal. Our goalkeeper just left. Do you know what? That kind of sums up Barcelona's planning. But even without a goalkeeper defending the nets, I managed to score 34 goals. We'll take that. Oh, we missed out on the golden boot though by three goals. I'm looking at the challenges and one thing's for sure, we gotta leave Barcelona. Yeah, if we leave, we might not be able to complete the top five league challenge, but at least we'll have a chance at completing everything else. Ah, it's such a shame that my favorite club tried to ruin my career. But before we find ourselves a new club, it's time for the World Cup 2034. This is literally my last chance to win the World Cup. And we finished third in the group. Just brilliant. Somehow we made it to the round of 16, but we deservedly got kicked out. I still scored a couple of goals at the World Cup, but it was a bit of a stinker. Also, is there a process where we can surrender our English passport? Because it's literally just not done anything for us. Anyways, what we are surrendering is being at Barcelona. I'm putting myself on the transfer list. Hopefully, we'll get a good offer from a big club, man, because because we need to get back to winning Ballon d'Ors and Champions Leagues. Leeds United? Is this some sort of a joke? Is my reputation gone down this much by joining Barca? Bayer Leverkusen? Do you know what? We aren't really getting many good offers. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. Maybe with them, we can win the Bundesliga. I don't know. Usually, Leverkusen, towards the end of career mode, somehow just have a juice team. I'm taking a chance, boys, but I'm going to Leverkusen next. All right, guys, I've made my transfer to Bayer Leverkusen. I don't know what to expect because just look at this team's formation. It's so weird. But the truth is Leverkusen
Robertson do have some proper ballers. I think we could do a job playing it in the striker position. Words playing behind me. Maybe playing at a club like Leverkusen is what we need after those disaster seasons at Barca. But I really need to start making a push towards that 99 overall, man. We, we don't have too many seasons left. Time to see what I can do in the German league. And oh my god, yes, we've won the Bundesliga. It's crazy how that's like my second league title in so many seasons. But I guess it paid off taking a risk in joining Leverkusen. And we got our rating up to a 96. 20 goals this season's a bit meh. But let's see, what about the Champions League? Wait a minute, we, we weren't in the Champions League? Are you kidding me? Bruh, I should have checked that before joining Leverkusen. I didn't even win the golden boot here. We've still got so many challenges left to complete. We've not even finished one completely. And look at my age, boys. I'm 30 years old. Soon we're gonna reach a point where I'm not gonna be growing more in my overall and I won't hit that 99 overall mark. I think, you know what? Next season, I'm gonna put myself on a transfer list, but I'll only accept an offer if it's from like a crazy club where I know I can win the Ballon d'Or, the Champions League and everything. Okay, guys, as I said, I'm putting myself on the transfer list. This is season 13, I think. We've just got three seasons left and I'm only going to be leaving if it's like a massive, massive club. We've not been really getting offers from like the big boy clubs and I'm hoping that changes. Okay, we do get an offer from a Premier League club, but it's Fulham. And now we've got Aston Villa. I'm just waiting for like Man City or Liverpool to come in with an offer. Oh, we've got PSG. I kind of wanted to go back to the Premier League, but PSG might not be too bad. A new league. Plus, that could be a guaranteed league title. By the way, I just want to check if Mbappe is still playing or has he retired. Well, Mbappe is... Oh my. 36-year-old killing Mbappe. He's fallen off. Well, he's 36. And so off we go to Paris to play alongside Kylian Mbappe. Oh wow, and this is what PSG looked like in 2035. We're by far the highest rated player at the club. But I'm hoping our tenure at PSG is going to be a bit better, man. Because look at the challenges we've got left to complete. Winning the Champions League with them would just be the dream. But first of all, we're in Paris, so of course we've got to attend the Ballon d'Or ceremony. And looks like we're about to collect our second Ballon d'Or. Let's go. I think it's deserved. We won the Bundesliga with Leverkusen, man. Come on. And that's Ballon d'Or number two. All we need is one more. Following up another Ballon d'Or, let's add another title. What? PSG lost Liga? How is that even possible? Yo, somebody needs to talk about how bad my league record is. How can I not win Liga with PSG? Come on, at least the Champions League. Okay, we didn't even make the final. Yo, we weren't even in the Champions League. Oh my days. But we've made the Europa League final and it's between PSG and Real Madrid. What's happening in 2036? Come on, let's at least get a win here. And also, I've noticed I've hit a 97 overall. Can we celebrate that with a win? No, we can't. I scored, but it's not enough. We had a great season stats why scoring 37 goals. And yep, we've secured another golden boot. That's number four, by the way. We just need one more. We're looking really good for the goals objective, Ballon d'Ors, but I need to win another Champions League, and I don't think with PSG I can win it. So I guess I'm putting myself on the transfer list once again. I've got to do it, guys. Just two seasons left, but I think this is going to be my final transfer. We're going to just try and get the best possible club. Oh, when we get changed. Chelsea, maybe they could be a decent option. I don't remember if they're in the Champions League. You know what? I think we can check that. Let's see, guys. Our Chelsea are in the Champions League, and we can even see their squad. Oh, they've got some ballers. A lot of them are like regens and everything. Oh, they've got a 92 rated midfielder. You know what? I've done enough research. One final transfer, and it's fitting we're heading back to England, the country that gave us the passport and the World Cup humiliations. But still, we're playing for Chelsea. Wait a minute. Just after joining Chelsea, Chelsea as a 97 rated player. The overall just got bumped up to a 99. Let's go. We finally completed our first objective. Oh my. In the 14th season, I've gotten myself to the highest overall in the game. Let's go. You know what? Chelsea's brought us the luck. And so I think we're going to stop being a journeyman, finish our career here at Chelsea. Hopefully though, they can help us complete a lot more challenges. And let's go joining Chelsea. The luck continues. Being a 99 overall, this was obvious. And yes, we secure my third Ballon d'Or. To be honest, guys, we're stat batting Ballon d'Ors based on the rating. If we just look at my career as a whole, I think I've been a bit of a fraud, man, with not many Champions Leagues and all. But still, we'll take home the Ballon d'Or, and that completes one of our challenges. Um, guys, after winning the Ballon d'Or, what just happened? Yet I was thinking we're going to win the Premier League. Seven? And look at this Champions League final. The footballing world in 2037 is completely different. We literally finished last in the group. I don't even know what happened. Anyways, I keep stat 
adding individually 30 golds, but I'm going down in my rating now. But the 30 golds does mean that we've hit the 300 career golds mark. That's done. It took us 14 seasons to do it though. No way, we missed out on the golden boot by three golds. We needed one more to complete that objective too. All right, so going into the final season, we need to win one more golden boot. World Cup can't be done. Top five league can't be done, but we also can win the Champions League. That will help complete that objective. But Chelsea are not even going to be in the Champions League. I said I didn't want to make more transfers, but I think I'm going to have to be a journeyman again. I've lost count at how many clubs I've been at. For the final season, I've secured a move to Liverpool. You know what? These guys somehow won the league last season. I'm hoping this is my best shot at winning the Champions League in a golden boot. Let's see how I do in my final season as a 32-year-old. Oh, man. Chelsea win the Premier League. We were literally with them. Yo, I'm just, I'm just bad luck. And no Champions League in my final season too. Oh, please tell me I won the golden boot, but it's not looking likely. We only scored 28. Ah, nowhere near the golden boot. Now, I did get to relive my career, but it didn't really go according to plan. I mean, out of the seven challenges, we did only three, but we did win three Ballon d'Ors, a couple of Champions Leagues. I wouldn't call this career a failure. I still did pretty well. It's just that I wasn't super talented. We started off as a 46 rated player. But one thing I've definitely learned, I should just stick to YouTube. Football, nah. But by the way, if you do want to see me play the career of Kylian Mbappe now, if that's your player with a lot of talent, click here to watch that.